Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Are you nervous at all? Um, yes. Nervous, but excited. <laughs> <laughs> Got the timer over here, so you guys can see this. Yeah, ten minutes, and then five minutes of Q&A. Okay. How long did you stay up doing this? Um, like four, four, four. Oh wow. Are you tired? Um, I don't know. The the, the jitters keep me awake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, are you all ready? Yep. Yeah. Good to go. Okay. Good luck. This is a live case. This isn't some sort of idea that's out there and we know what happened after the fact. We don't know what's going to happen. And in fact, the ideas you come up with may well be ideas that we follow up on with later, with later work with this organization or with other organizations in the energy sector. Uh, so I'd like to introduce now Lucia Bakulumpaji Wamala. Uh, explain a little bit more about the organization so you can be thinking about um, how do you develop a solution for this. Uh, thank you guys, all of you, for even having interest in being here. I started the company four years ago in Uganda. I am Ugandan. Our full project is actually on three islands on Lake Victoria. For the purposes of this competition, I thought it would be easier to focus on one, which is Lubia Island. We work with last mile consumers, and the whole idea is that you know, by making these investments, you create jobs, you stimulate demand for your grid, and then also people, as they make more money, people want more luxuries, they will start to use more electricity. So our challenge statement is to see, you know, what else you guys can come up with. I think it's important that, you know, you guys have such a short time frame to do it because that is really how this kind of work works. I, what I'm thinking is if the avenue is this cool funda, for me it looks like it's for reducing wastage so that they have more savings. Mm -hmm. So what they're yeah, saying is that they don't want to force people to use They're saying that they, because essentially the, the fish is free. They already have a grid. Yeah. Yeah. So now uh, this is where the demand is going, like small homes. I don't know how much of that demand so is actually really interesting. Can I go and get some coffee from that? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. How to enjoy. Um, I'm studying the business in CS. I'm Ashley Kwan, I am a BBA freshman and I'm also pursuing pre-med and a minor in biochemistry. At the end of the day, we have to understand our key consumer and we have to put ourselves in their shoes and understand, you know, what is it like living on the island? So that's more exposure, they, they're better connected, uh, the education awareness goes up and, and it's it's a win-win situation. Before they had used coals, they had used an ember furnace in order to provide smoke. Um, we're sort of providing this alternative solution um, using an electric smoker. So we don't know the exact size of the number of fish that the island currently sells. This venture would create 50 jobs for the island, increase How energy. did you estimate them? How did you oh, okay. Yeah. We couldn't take into consideration the cost because we weren't aware of how much the mini grids themselves cost in production who values. Is, who is building these? I mean, who is paying for them? The reason exactly yeah. where that market will be and that, uh, that maybe something to work on as the next step. Yeah, 24 more hours to <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome back everyone and thank you for uh, all your work you did over the past 24 hours. It was very impressive to see what you all came up with and the different ideas. And with that, I will turn it over to Lucia for the awarding of the various checks. This uh, experience will definitely help us. It's like a mini uh, consulting engagement. So these kind of skills, being able to put together analysis quickly, present it to a client, a real client in this case, that, that'll always come in handy. It was not easy to choose a winner. We, we really had to pour over each of the uh, presentations, but we did come to a great choice of candidates. I'm just impressed. I cannot believe the level of detail and the research that the students did and I think I actually learned more than they did. I think sometimes when you're so immersed and you're really close to an issue, you can miss so many things. And it's amazing to have such bright students who do research in directions that maybe you didn't consider. And the more great minds you can bring to the table, the more solutions we can deploy. This can be a quick and easy way to get a lot of creative thinking from a lot of very capable people. These students are are going to be working at the consulting firms, they're going to be working at these corporations in a year or two. 
Uh, and so the students can handle that. They can handle the, the complexities of a particular market or of a particular industry, and they're going to have to deal with it. And so they might as well learn to do it in this setting, and we can provide that here. And, and that's one of the great things about WDI in my mind. We can provide that link between what's going on both on the research side and on the education side with the realities of the market on the ground, which is going to make the students that much more effective when they start working, and it's going to make the companies that much more productive right now, and we can mix the two together in a way that's beneficial for everyone.